Hi, I'm JC, and this is Cooking with Cocktails. Now what that is, basically, is it's pretty much as it sounds, I'm going to cook and drink cocktails while I do it. And then every week I'm going to have a new friend on to cook and have cocktails with me. So this week, for my very first show, is going to be my cousin, who's also my very best friend in the whole world, Kristen! Hi! <laughs> Suddenly she's southern. <laughs> And also every week we're going to have a new or a different cocktail that we're going to drink. And well, for our very first cocktail, I think it's something that's very dear to our hearts. Yes. And so that is going to be, for our first drink, it's going to be a box, a box of, of wine. wine. Now, as my Auntie Gloria said once, JC class isn't something that runs in our family, <laughs> clearly. So anyway, well, let's get started, shall we? Of course, that me start by getting a uh, ladies first. Ladies first. Hey, I'm this is the lady. Okay. Thank you. So today we're drinking a lovely box of white wine because we don't want gray teeth on camera because that's not classy. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so today we're gonna be making. I thought it'd be fun to make gnocchi. We're going to make gnocchi in a creamy garlic sauce and then we're also going to make some bruschetta or as some people might call it bruschetta but I don't call it that because I think it just sounds pretentious. I know that's the way that it's actually called but I just think it sounds stupid. So anyway let's get started. So for gnocchi you want to use the russet baked uh, baker's potatoes just because it's like sort of the all-purpose potato that uh, you can use for anything. Now the recipe I have for gnocchi uh, or a good like uh, recipe that I have is 200 grams of potatoes to one egg to 125 grams of flour and that's that's a good ratio to use that always works out well. So sorry 200 grams of potato is how many cups? I don't know, you have to weigh it. Oh, okay. That's why I said 200 grams. Sorry. Well, no, that's the best way to do it. Okay. Anyway, so we're going to start by doing that. So, we'll start by cutting it open to the potato. And we're going to... Oh, I see. Yeah, so, okay, so we're going to scoop it out into the eraser. We're going to rice it. Or if you don't have one, you can just mash it. It doesn't matter. I just happen to have the fancy fancy eraser. So the potatoes are pre-baked. Do you have to do anything yes. to them? No, you want to bake them for one hour uh, or at least an hour or until they're cooked and that's all you have to do to them. Uh, some people wrap them in tin foil but you don't need to uh, because uh, well you don't want to wrap them in tin foil especially if you're making like a baked potato or something like that because you want the skins to dry out and be all crispy. For this it doesn't really matter if you wrap it in tin foil it's going to um, probably cook faster, but, um... One other question. When I make a baked potato, I use, well, I wrap it in tin foil, but even mm -hmm. if I didn't, I would pierce it with a fork. Do you do that when you're... Well, yeah, you should always when you cook a potato because it's going to have to cook faster. Okay. And it has to, like, vent. And how long did you bake it for? An hour. Okay. At 400. So, we're going to go to our ground. So, all you do... Wow, that's cool. Yeah, I know. It's so easy, know. right? Okay, hold that. So could you use that for mashing your own potatoes? Well, this is that is how for mashing your own potatoes. Oh. That's for mashing your potatoes. Well, I have a. Well, I, like I just said you could mash potatoes. You could mash it, or you could use this. Like that's mashed potatoes right there. Hold it, please. I want to do that. <laughs> okay. So 200 grams is about two two potatoes ish, or so. Should I wait? Yeah, go for it. Cool. I want There we go. Those. So one and a half large potatoes is two hundred grams. Oh, okay. Nice. There we go. So, see, and it's always handy to have a nice digital kitchen scale. I have one like this because I really liked it, and it's got like all the numbers and everything. But I don't actually know how to use it, and I used it once and got mad because I couldn't tell where a hundred grams was. So. It was <laughs> So I don't use that, it just sits in my kitchen and looks good. Now, so we have our 200 grams of potatoes. So you want to just sort of dump it out onto the table. It's kind of like making dough, really. 
It's like potato dough, that's what we're making basically. So take it, make a little well in the middle. And then take your egg, one egg. In the middle. Now you could probably crack it first and like scramble it up if you, if you want it, that's okay. It's a little bit of shell. This isn't scripted TV, clearly. There we go. And then 125 grams of flour, which I pre-weighed out on my digital scale, not the other one that I can't use. And then salt and pepper. Now everybody always says that if you're making something that's white, like a sauce or something like this, use white pepper because you don't want to see black bits. But I really don't care. I prefer black pepper and I think it tastes better and that's just the way it's going to be because it's my show. And some salt. What kind of salt is that? Uh, kosher salt. Why do they call it kosher salt? Well, I don't know. <laughs> because it's... I didn't, didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> and then also now at this point, also with gnocchi, you can put anything you want into it. Like you can put herbs and spices or anything really. But we're going to put some, we're going to grate some parm cheese into it. Because I mean, really anything with cheese is mm, going to be delicious. Yummy. <laughs> Sorry, I like cheese. I like food. Clearly. Clearly. <laughs> I'm not the one who said that. She said it first. We kind of said it at the same time, but she got it out first. There we go. And the farm cheese. There we go. All right. So then you want to take it now. Okay. People say don't overwork it because it's going to be um, tough and everything. I've only, every time I've made gnocchi, it's always turned out to be like the same uh, like consistency and everything so I don't know if I'm actually overworking it if I'm doing it right but I mean it's potato and then you fry it I mean, so, I mean really how bad is it really going to be it's a whole lot of goodness <laughs> Sorry. so here we go so this is the way I was taught to do it take it and just cut it in sort of to get the egg sort of what what is that called? I want one of those too. It's, it's called a scraper or dough cutter or... I have one in metal as well. Oh, like a pastry cutter. Yes. No, no, I think a pastry cutter is one of those things with the little things oh, in the yes. thing. You know, I don't know. So anyway, there we go. So I just do this first to sort of cut it all in. And then with clean hands. It's kind of fun standing here watching somebody do this yeah. while I'm drinking wine. <laughs> yeah, that's what she usually does when we cook. She drinks the wine and I cook the dinner. And then I eat it. Well, remember how I said clean hands? I forgot to wash my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Joke's on you. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. So then you just sort of want to work it into a dough. I think this is the part where they say don't overwork it, but whatever. I don't care. My kitchen doesn't have a Michelin star, so... You know what? That's just too bad. There we go. And that's like basically it. That's all wow, you have to do. I know, it's so easy, right? And there we go. So we'll just get rid of this. Scrape it with the scraper. Scrape it with the scraper. There we go, maybe. Okay. Alright, so now all you want to do, we're going to need a little bit more flour just to so it doesn't stick to everything. There we go, and on our hands. So then all you want to do, dog hair. Everything in my house, everything I make in my house comes with a little bit of dog hair in it. So if you ever eat over at my house, you'll you'll know that. It's okay, you get used to it. Yeah, you get used to it. So then what? Some of it might be dog hair I brought from my house too. So. Yeah. <laughs> and that could be my hair for all I know, I don't care. <laughs> so you roll it out. Note to self, where are your hands? Yeah. <laughs> They're not very becoming. I'm gonna wear my hair net like uh, Eva Perone. <laughs> anyway, here we go. So then all you want to do then is roll it out. Just wait. I know it's not really even. No. And there's hair! Like that one, <laughs> take that hair, take that hair because it won't go away. There we go. Oh dear. There we go. And oh, oh, I bought a, no a Noki roller just for that. Oh, I bought a Nokia roller just for. I okay. don't know what it looks like, so it's I don't a little know what board. I'm looking for. Oh well, it doesn't matter. 
It's okay. We didn't need it anyway, really. So then all you do is roll it out, and then you just cut it into like little pillows. Little pillow, pillow. Oh wow, see, I was thinking two potatoes, that's not really gonna make No, them. I know, but this is gonna make so much. That's crazy. So, but what you want to do before you like totally go through all this and roll it all out. See, they're not the same size, but like I said, it doesn't really matter. I mean, when you're cooking in your own house, it doesn't really matter. If I was at work, maybe I would get yelled at for this, but... It's kind of like Julia says, who's to see? There we go. So, but before you go through and test, uh, cut this all out and everything, you want to, you want to test it to make sure it's not going to fall apart and you do that by because you have to like put them in boiling water first so you drop it into some boiling water and if it falls apart then, then that means you have to do something you have to add more flour or I don't actually know what you have to do if it falls apart because I've never actually had them fall apart so I'm just going to hope that this one is still is good and my Noki record stands. And let's see, so far so good. What will happen is it will sort of like fall apart and just like come to pieces. But things are looking good. If you stick with my ratio, it should be good. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Wait for it. Wait, wait. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the suspense is killing me. <laughs> I think I need a drink. <laughs> yeah, me too. I can't take this stress. Let's see. Okay, yeah, it's totally good. All right, let's go. So for it. that you mean like not just size, but you mean like what you've put in it. Put what the in dough, it? The dough. That's what you're waiting to make sure is. I'm just making sure it doesn't fall apart. So size doesn't really matter. No, no, fall. So well, <laughs> it does, but not today. Are we talking about cooking? <laughs> <laughs> 